Protests on college campuses continue to pop up across the nation over the war between Israel and Hamas. Last night, those protests made their way to the University of Kentucky. Tyler Melito joins us in studio with details. That was just one of the many chants that could be heard outside the William T. Young Library last night. While the pro-Palestine protest didn't mirror the violence you may have seen at other college campuses like UCLA and Columbia, the message remained consistent, ending what Palestinian supporters have called a genocide. Current Palestinian and UK students say during their time on campus, they have never had their identities challenged, belittled, or attacked like it has been since the war began between Israel and Hamas. Those who participated in the rally say they felt a responsibility to stand in solidarity with their peers who are protesting on other campuses across the U.S. When you're on that phone and you're in bed and all you watch are people literally being shredded apart, and then you're just supposed to wake up the next morning, grab a cup of coffee, and then go check into work. It really messes with your mind mentally. It's a very dystopian feeling. Um, and I think part of these rallies is to physically be present, to for these people to be like, I know I am limited. I can't do that much. But I know I could show up to this place and let my soul come out from with the screaming and let the voice be heard for those that are now voiceless. Because of the anti-Israel sentiments at the rally, leaders with Kentucky Hillel, one of the Jewish student organizations on campus, encouraged students to stay away. The organization provided an alternative space for students to study far from the protests with an advisor on hand to talk with students if needed. I reached out to them before the protest. They said they were doing what they believed was best for the UK community, saying in part, quote, we hope in the future there are opportunities for dialogue with our fellow students and the Lexington community, close quote. Now, there's still a lot to unpack regarding what took place last night. I'll dive more into that in the next hour, including demands made by the pro-Palestine community at UK for University President Eli Capilouto. For Fox 56 News, I'm Tyler Melito.